Hi guys, Yakto here. Um, someone asked me before to do a, a video about how to defeat rank 2 tanks if you're in a tier 1 tank. So I'm about to do that now and uh, we're on Poland. And this is realistic battles. And I'm driving out the Panzerkampfwagen 38T. Let me just adjust the volume a bit. On the headset, my new headset that, that I've just got. I hope the microphone sounds a bit better than on my last headset. Because um, I decided to spend a bit of money on my uh, my headset that I was going to buy. So uh, this one, this headset was a bit uh, more expensive than my last one. Whoop! I'm getting round <laughs> from behind. So let's check our team. See. Let's see if that will give us any kind of clue what we're up against. I think we're up against uh, low rank 2 tanks at the maximum and uh, otherwise it should be a tire or a rank 1 game only except for maybe one or two T-34s on the enemy team. So I'm driving out the only tank that the Swedish army had in the beginning of the Second World War, the Panzerkampfwagen 38T. Or actually, maybe we had a Panzerkampfwagen 35, I don't remember. Uh, but I've seen this tank in my neighboring town, quite close to where I was born. They actually have a few of these tanks on display near. Uh, the regiment where there is an army base. And I remember seeing this tank when I was about 12 years old and my first reaction was oh my god that's a tiny tank. <laughs> and that must mean something if you as a 12 year old boy think that a tank is small. Let's see if we get some contact here. No, nothing. There. Was that a miss? Weird. Contact left. T70. That's a pile of rubble. T70 is coming up again. Oh! I killed him straight through the post or the cement pillar. Trying to nail that get through the turret. So what you want to do is that you want to aim for weak spots. So let's switch over to uh, Panzer Granat 40. No, I'm not gonna change shots with him or exchange shots with him. Let's put some RT on there. See whether we can get him to move. So we can get the clear shot on those uh, weak spots. You need to aim for the machine gunner's uh, port on the left side of the hull or the driver's hatch on the right side. That's where you want to hit the T-34. And it's totally doable in a tank like this. You just need to stay patient and hit the tank repeatedly at the same spot. 
if you do that, you will take it out. See whether we can spot it. Oh, there's an uh, aiming for the side of the turret, and that's a kill. That's what you need to do, more or less. Another hit. I'm changing over to uh, a normal AP rounds here. We got incoming fire from the right. T60. There's a hit in the turret. Kill. As you can see here, I'm, I'm trying to stay at the second line. I don't want to be all up at the front, because if I go up there I will probably get hit. And you don't want to take hits in a tank such as this one, because you only have 25mm of armor. Is on the position. In the front. Um, so that can be a problem if you do get hit you tend to get knocked out so keep that in mind stay stealthy uh, and be sneaky about how you fight in the tank don't give the, the enemy a chance to uh, retaliate or fire back at you Let's see if we get this one that was short. Ah, uh, it's too far. Oh, I'm <laughs> looking at the map then. Seems like he's uh, a good 800 meters away or something like that. So, let's move up. I'm trying to stay at the second line of the attack here. I'm trying to, uh, to be a support tank for the attacking ones up at, at the front. I'm keeping his uh, flank cleared. Oh, he's dead. So this might be a bad idea, to go around the corner like this. Or not. Here's more incoming. Yeah, you see, the second you get hit, you're dead. <laughs> And that was a T28 shot. Nevertheless, up. Oh, T26 shots. Alright. So, let's try another uh, Tie 1 tank. This one is totally unresearched, it's totally stock. I like this tank in the beta when I was playing when I was trying out the ground forces. But we got this uh, game in the bag. I got 4 kills in the Panzer 38 t so that's not half bad. I'm satisfied with that. But you really need to uh, aim for those weak spots when you face uh, T-34s. Um, if you don't, you'll be in a world of trouble, and you will bounce shot after shot after shot on them. Um, let me go back to the garage, and I will show you where to uh, hit the T44. Okay? Uh, let's just grab a random T44 here. Um, so, if you face the T44 like this, and he's not in a hull down position. You want to aim for uh, the machine gun port here. You can see it's almost uh, unarmored. In fact, let's bring up the armor so I can show you. Um, there's actually a 45 millimeters thick armor bit here, but I don't think that the machine gun is armored at all. And try to aim for this bit of armor as well because it's a it's a small bit of armor that can easily be bent in by a well placed shot 
in my opinion this uh, periscope sight for the driver is not a good shot or a good spot to aim for since it tend to eat up shot and the shot tend to bounce around weird in weird uh, ways um, another thing you can aim, aim for is the turret ring of course um, also another good idea for a shot if you're a rank 1 tank and you're facing a monster like this try to hit this area um, this curb if you hit the excuse me if you hit the turret here the shell will bounce down into the top of the roof of the hull and that will knock out uh, it might knock out the driver but if you're lucky enough the shell will go straight down into the ammo storage on the bottom on the floor of the tank and as you can see here there's a lot of shells on that floor and right next to them are fuel tanks <laughs> so uh, if you hit this the tank is gone for sure um, as you might have seen in the video I tried to hit the tank on the side of the turret and there's a good reason as to why I tried to do that because uh, the turret is a little bit less sloped than the side of the tank if you hit the turret and you penetrate you will knock out or you might knock out gunners and loaders in the tanks so that's quite nice um, another very good idea is to try to hit this non-sloped bit right between the tracks and the um, upper part of the hull this is non-sloped hard to see here but it is and it's actually only 45 millimeters thick so even the weakest uh, anti-tank gun will get through this and down here you have a lot of uh, very dangerous stuff okay welcome back uh, although it has been maybe one second or two since you last saw me <laughs> It's now the day after in real life. I had to go to bed because uh, it became all too late yesterday night. And since I'm a working man nowadays, I had to go to bed. So we continued the video day after. And it hit me that I've been trying to get into games with uh, where I encounter the T-34s. But it's been hard because I've mainly been seeing uh, rank 1 vehicles, so it just kind of hit me that, wait a minute, I have T-34s in the test drive area. So let's go up. This is a good spot. Obviously in real life if you saw a T-34 like this aiming at you from this uh, distance, or not in real life in the game you would be in some serious trouble so don't do that okay <laughs> try to get around them and there you can see I tried to hit uh, the driver's hatch but I hit the periscope thing and the shot just went off maybe uh, Maybe the gun isn't powerful enough to knock out the tank at this uh, distance. We hit the turret ring. Let's try to uh, aim for the machine gun port. Too high. Let's have another one. We hit that and we kill the machine gunner. So let's see if we can get a penetration with the... I'm just gonna fire that one wide we can get penetration with the normal AP rounds. Almost there. No, maybe not. Yes, we got one. That's what I'm talking about. You want to do that. Get a hit through the machine gun port just like that. So, at 400 meters, um, going into a head-on head 
duel with the T-44-41 is a bad idea. Let's close the distance to uh, this little bush line here. This should be about 200 meters. So we're firing normal AP rounds. That's uh, semi-penetration. Let's try the machine gun port again. That's a good hit. Tank is now on fire and while it's burning you can safely try to skirt around on the flank. I'm gonna try the side shot I told you about. Okay so let's uh, have a shot at the side of the same T-44. See whether we can punch through the side of the T-44 41. So I'm gonna aim low, um, right at the cross section between the turret and the hull, low here, see if we can get knocked through. And with one shot we kind of almost crippled and knocked out the tank. And with the second shot, uh, firing the upgraded AP ammo, we got a kill. So side shots if you aim low at the T-44s that's gonna be a good effect kill on them. So I hope that you've uh, found this video somewhat uh, educational and worthy of your time and I hope that um, it will help you out when facing those uh, T-44s and the T-50s in the realistic and simulator battles. So uh, have a good day gentlemen and I'll see you guys around.